dictate our behavior. That means they make us feel inferior because almost all what we know is what they put in our brain. Therefore, even our behavior, like you said, the violence, the election, they cause it. Because if you look at, for example, the, 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 the xenophobic violence in South Africa, yes. no European foreigner was touched. You could not even think these brown people who were doing violence could tie the European voice. Because xenophob xenophobia mean... Uh, not even Asians. Yeah, not even Asians. Xenophobia mean uh, not liking people from outside your country. Mm. You understand? That means you should not like all the people from outside your country. Why are they targeting particularly brown? While pink people committed atrocity here are still the cause of racism, are holding all the uh, land, all the natural resources, treat them like dogs in, in the farms in many areas. Why did not, did not they, they did not do xenophobia against pink people? Because it is pink people that dictate our behavior. Let me take an example about a proof that people dictate our behavior. Today, President Mandela is a legend worldwide, right? Who has made him a legend worldwide? It is pink people media. Because the people in Asia never came to Africa to see Mandela. They heard about Mandela from uh, uh, European media. The people in uh, in Arab world he heard about uh, he heard about Mandela from uh, uh, the media. So everybody sees Mandela as a great man because of the media. Therefore, if the media want to make people love each other, right? It's gonna make them love each other. If the media, the, the media which has hegemony over us, want to make us fight each other, it makes us fight each other. That's why the xenophobic violence only affects uh, brown people because the news, the kind of news they put inside fellow brother to fight fellow brother, never to, to fight them. Therefore, the violence in Africa is caused by them because they have total control over uh, our information sector about what we know. Let me take an example. Something happened in Cape Town or in Durban okay. or in, uh, in Lagos. Where do we get the news from? From them. So, why are we getting the news from them? But you know that you said that we remain colonized. We remain yeah. neo Part of the, the, the design to control us uh, is to make sure that uh, we get the news only from them. Okay, to what extent is this going to end? We've got a lot of... But, but before we go to the which extent, when, when is it going to end? Yes. We should first uh, come in terms with you. Do you agree that uh, they dictate our behavior based on the information I've supplied? Or I can give you more if, if there is where you are, you are not sure? Um, it, to me, I, I can't... I can I can never accept yeah that they dictate our behavior. I can never accept that. Okay. What? Listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me. If they were detecting our behavior, uh, Mandela couldn't have been in jail. He refused. My view is that Africans, it's high time we have to know. Could, 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 like, Mandela could not have been what? He, could, he couldn't have been to jail. He could have succumbed. He could have agreed with them. So that they continue to detest his behavior. But but he do you but do you know that opposed, but do you know that even you though oppose their idea, a lot of them oppose their idea. Listen, even you yourself now as Ruben speaking, I believe they will not they are not detecting your behavior. If they were detecting your behavior, you couldn't have known what you are what you are saying now. So based on this, there's a lot of Africans within and without in South Africa that can come up with a solution the only place i have my problem is that the leaders like you are talking about the education and whatever africa at this moment you are talking with me has never realized that we cannot manufacture a common machine we cannot we have the resources but we cannot our leaders what are they doing what are they doing in our schools is a disaster. Should one no, 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 should no. Europeans excuse me? Yeah. Are you expecting Europeans to come from Germany, I, I, from wherever to I, come here and I, go to your village I, and start to develop no, the schools I, that I, are there? Uh, Reverend. Yes. I said they dictate our behavior. I say that, which means uh, most of our people. Yes. I will say every single African have escaped from that system, which means. I grew up in a system which taught me that I was inferior 
to the pink man. Okay, you have if to you, ram. If you to see that. me, if you see me, okay, so dedicated to do this thing, okay, because I don't want the growing African children to go through what I've been through, okay, because of uh, terrorists who are terrorizing us mentally and okay. even physically. Glory be you, to God that you, you, people are coming out of it. You, 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 you got the point. Yeah. Which means what I'm saying, well, you said. Uh, if they were dictating our behavior, uh, Mandela would have uh, uh, complied with them. Uh, I was not going to be speaking like I'm speaking, yes. but I'm going to clarify that point. They're dictating our behavior, but not every single brown person fall in, which means there are those who, who awaken from it, and there are very few. Okay. And they don't allow those one who are awakened to take power. What I'm saying here that is indirect rule, well, indirect yeah, remote control, which means they're still working, even when a few have awakened, they're preventing those few to access power so that they don't change. Those they accept that is 100% sure. Yeah, those they accept to take power is those who are gonna comply to, to the, the rule, the foolish which, ones. which means. Uh, the generally, was, generally, the sellouts. Yeah, they are not sellout per se. In I wouldn't say because they don't even know uh, that uh, <laughs> they don't uh, know what they're doing. Th that they are being used or that they are enslaved. <laughs> they think what they know is true. You got a point. <laughs> now, now you, you agree with me on that, right? Yes, I agree with, agree you with on me. This. Which means, out of the millions of brown, most are enslaved mentally. Yes. That means they dictate the behavior most. But there are there are few that escape. Which means they do research, they look, they observe, they say no, something is wrong, and they refuse to comply because they got uh, alternative information which allowed them to because the brain works with information. Okay. So, so there's a few of us that have realized that these people are dictating us as a people, as a whole okay. behavior, and are keeping us in a labyrinth, in a vicious circle with no, uh, no uh, exit no way out okay. until we get outside of the thing so i just i just wanted to clarify that generally speaking okay. they dictate our behavior that means uh, but few of us have escaped and we're trying to uh, end this madness to create awareness so, to, to create awareness and end this madness so they okay. still dictate our behavior so if you ask me uh uh why uh, 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 you said, uh, should they come, what, 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 should they come uh, to in our village and do and do? First of all, our economies are not free. Our they own our economies, which means the natural resources in Africa are in their hands. All what we consume, we put as lotion, they make money out of it, they supply it, you understand? They don't want us to get outside of that system because they benefit from it they therefore if you start coming out with the thing of okay uh, we're gonna treat you like you treat us they don't want you president they don't want they're gonna bring your government down that's why uh, 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 soon after uh, Africa got independence they have done a lot of coup there was uh, there was uh, mercenaries like Bob Dena from France all over and and yeah doing coup d'etat it is them removing uh, those who did not want to comply yeah, with them. The rightful ones. Therefore, you can't say it is our fault. Because those that, they, those that refuse to be used, used will be overthrown. Or overthrown. And they're going to put okay. those who are ignorant. Yeah. Because you, you're going to agree with me that a lot of Africans are just blind. They don't know. They believe uh, European is superior. Is European, true. just like you said earlier here, that, that they brought education. Mm. They never brought education. They brought mental enslavement to make us bow to their will and comply to the staff. Okay, okay. In other words, you are saying that they brought their education was a kind of something that will help them control us. Loss. Yeah. Basically, it's not education. It's it was a, a system. It's, it's brainwashing, mental enslavement. No, it was a system to help them control, control us. us. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay. Now, I don't know if you agree with that or you are close okay. to agreeing with that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You agree? It's oh, you, it, it, it makes sense. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Now, so that, you, that means they, they, they are coming to Africa. They have never come there for a, a kind of relationship. Nothing! It was a kind of principles of association. No, it's not even... It's, it's, they it's, associated it's, in order to no, get what they no, want. It, it's not even association because they oppress us. 
Remember, during the time the Euro, the, to the bear them, they were pressing us to bear them in order for them to achieve their goal. Yeah, they they are oppressing us. Basically, what they don't, you know what, you know that is basically what you call white supremacy, uh, what I call pink supremacy. Is because they become they become your master. They own you. They therefore they dominate you in all sphere, from uh, economic point of view, political, cultural, spiritual. Okay, now what yeah. I want to find out is yeah, is this: when is Africa having realized all this? How possible is Africa going to get out of this cage? Good, good. Economically, socially, politically. Good. And otherwise. Good, good question. Yes. Now, we are locked up in a, a brutal, racist, inhuman system of racist exploitation and destruction by the European against us, the pink people against brown people. That is a reality. Now, they put us in a system because we are in a system in in on order and the order is structured in that order we must have the names we must speak the languages we must uh, only consume our brain must only know what they want us to know which means what we see on tv as news as entertainment as uh, what we go see at school you understand okay. therefore millions only know what we have put in the brain so we are totally ignorant of our right. Even standing up to the struggle and the hegemony, we can't do it because we don't know. Because we only think that all oh, these people came to help us, all oh, these people are civilized, all oh, these people got technology. Oh. So they have put us in a, in a blind. So in the system, your, your language is, is painted as inferior. I even heard one African saying, what is holding us back is our own languages. Can you believe that? So, so they're basically teaching us to hate what you've seen. Uh, no, if our language can be centralized, like we say, like we have English, we have French, we have Spanish, we have um, other languages like that. If we can have African language in such form, I don't think the who mess but how would you how would you have it if they don't want you to have it don't don't think they want let me take an example of what they do the language is even the basis of the colonization germany was ruling was enslaving colonizing uh cameroon before uh, the second france. world war before france but when that means the people in cameroon were speaking german yes but when germany got defeated in the second world war when the British and the French went there, they divided Cameroon do, they imposed French one side, English one side, so that they colonized. Because if they left German there, they will not colonize. Okay, that is the means of colonization. That's a mean, that means the language... That's the greatest tool. That's exactly, that means the language is the basis and the foundation of the colonization. So what do we do in Africa in order to get to which mean they don't, to they realize don't, our, la the lost language? Which means they don't want you to speak your languages or to because your languages if you if we leave the languages that means they lose hegemony the basis of them losing hegemony so it is colonization now now they have, I will, let me just finish what i was saying they put us in a system and in that system we are blinded now those of us who can see what they are trying to do is what to end it okay is to access power to get into government become president or form a government okay and then remove the colonial order and put the african order when you put the african order mean you remove colonial languages okay. you remove their content from tv because that is the brainwashing tool you remove their brainwashing from the educational system which means we set up on educational system and content of the education based on our need on empowering us uh, to reject submission and to develop uh, our own capacity and, and our own uh, 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 needs uh, technological need or whatever we need okay. and then you that mean we, we cut the, uh, the the brainwashing from the media from the from the, the educational from uh, uh, we approve the NGOs because everything that uh, belong to them they use it to maintain us under therefore 
putting our order where our one of our language become the main language of communication okay. uh, we nationalize our resources that means they don't own our resources anymore and then we take an example about uh, the economic activity we can do we got african tailors those who make clothes right okay what well, that means we we set up a lot of those uh, and we ban import of uh, clothing from europe and our people are going to be relying on the tailor's clothes right and the moment they make the, they improve the design stuff so we can get out but the problem is uh, to move out of the system but it's not easy because the people must support it and the people need the media that says the truth to so uh, people must first of all receive the awareness people must receive awareness actually we need uh, a 24 hours media okay. which broadcast this truth all the time and a lot of africans in use in, in use numbers okay. gonna get that information and it's gonna allow the political leaders uh, to say we want this change yes, we want uh, to quit this order it's okay. destroying us uh, and that's gonna allow us uh, to bring the kind of order we need and obviously the european won't watch us and they can even use force to prevent us uh, from leaving this slave order we're living in so that it keep benefiting them so that is uh, uh i wish we had uh, more time protecting africa yeah, we right. had pastor no, uh, isaac um, and